Hello, welcome back to my crafty channel. Today we're going to look at some fabulous products that help you create those celebrations in your life. Now this is actually a workshop kit that's just out at the moment until the end of September. You can get it through my website and it is called Workshop Well Wow Celebrating You. So there are a lot of options, there's some card making options and some scrapbooking options. Um, but the one I'm showing you here is the scrapbooking set that has got um, an a interplay of the beautiful Celebrate You paper along with the cool square pattern thin cuts and the background element stamp set which are on page 37 in our core book. So while I've been chatting I've started putting together the background for the second page. You saw the first page and how I'd put it together, this is the second page. So we started with that background element stamp set and sapphire ink, oh, sorry not sapphire, lagoon ink and created a really neat cascading pattern down this edge of this page. Now you'll notice I did draw a ruler line but it's quite difficult to get a perfectly straight um, image with that um, stamp given that you are stamping multiple times so that's when you bring in those zip strips and cheat by just tidying up the edge. Now I have rolled some more lines to help me guide myself with these lovely square patterns that I've cut from the Celebrating You paper. Now this has used the square patterns thin cuts which have got some really cool shapes and designs that you can cut out using your die cutting machine. So I've cut some of the smaller triangles and some of the squares and I'm creating a bit of a mosaic pattern here. Now having the ruled lines makes it really, really easy. Um, doing something like this without ruling lines does um, require a very detailed eye, but by ruling your lines you've got a guide straight away there for you to put your little corners in and it is not a difficult project at all to put together. So you can see I'm making quite a neat little effect down the side there with a whole sort of selection of triangles and squares and it's mimicking the stripes down the right hand side of this page. So by putting all this in the background geometric like shapes like this really do help to create a sort of a pattern, a design, but it do not overwhelm your page, particularly when you go with all these, these sort of monochromatic shades. Um, it's primarily your lagoons and sapphires, but of course it's brought in a little bit of that Sundance as well, which is just lovely, a pop of yellow, helps to just give it a bit of interest. Now I have printed these photos using my home um, selfie printer. However, I've decided I'm going to sort of break them up a little bit and higgledy piggledy them down the sides. And I want a little bit more of that yellow showing. So you'll see I do pull the photos across a little bit more even still. Um, I have printed these with a white border. So that's just made my life really easy. I don't need to do any matting now and I can just pop the pa uh, photos on the page. Now I'm using my rubber remove eraser to get rid of any of the penciled lines that were still showing. The rubber remove eraser is great for getting rid of adhesive and it's also great for actually using it as an eraser. So I have that beside me all the time. Such a fantastic little tool. So here I am positioning those photos. This is actually of my sister's special day. We had a celebration at my home. We made a bit of a um, cocktail party out of the um, event. And all the family, almost, just a couple that still live in Australia, couldn't make it. But almost the whole family were there, which was just lovely having everyone, everyone together. So um, my sister's just celebrating with some balloons and some catered in food and plenty of cocktails that Greg had put together which always makes life a bit fun. However she also had another event the week later with all of her friends up in Auckland which was really special. So here I'm just putting in together a few more of the stickers from the sticker sheet. There's a whole selection and what I love about these stickers is they have a little foil element to them so they do shimmer and shine. Um, and I've also pulled out a really neat embellishment layering up silver glitter paper with the acrylic white shapes so that's a cool effect. Now I did want to talk about the day so now I've just pulled out a little bit of the French vanilla cardstock, made a little mat with it with some glacier and I have uh, stamped a bit of that cascading effect again on there which I'm now just going to use as my journaling spot. Um, I do muck around with a few other stickers just to see if they work, um, but you don't need too much on this page. The photos are what tell the story here. It's all about a fun party event, um, so we just want to keep the background a little bit neutral. So you'll see I do remove and add and do a few little funny things here and there just to make, until I make it perfect for myself. So I add my journaling on here and I have captured the moment and I'm really pleased with how this workshop well layout came together. 
Hope you enjoyed joining me today and seeing this kit in action. Thanks for coming.